Hello, in this video I will show you the batch retouching of photos, including raw files, with several retouch for me plugins at once. Thanks to Evgeny Kartasha for the idea and Oleg Romanov for the photos. I have a series of photos opened in Adobe Bridge, and it is not by accident. I will launch from Adobe Bridge an action that will alternately apply Retouch For Me Heal and Retouch For Me Dodge and Burn plugins to raw files. I'm going to Photoshop to record an action. I need to load some file in there first. It doesn't matter if it is JPEG or TIFF. I've already loaded a camera JPEG. Compare how the color differs in Adobe Bridge. It is because Adobe uses its own algorithms to develop raw files and the camera uses built-in profiles from the manufacturer. I will come back to this later. Now, I'm going back to Photoshop to record my action. I don't want to wait long for this photo to be processed by the plugin, so I will reduce its size to 800 pixels. So, I'm opening Action Panel, selecting Retouch For Me folder here and clicking on the icon with the new action. I'll name it Heal Plus Dodge and Burn. The recording has started. I'm launching Retouch For Me Heal plugin through Filters menu. I'm leaving the settings as they are and clicking Apply. Done. Now I'm launching the next plugin, Retouch For Me Dodge and Burn. When recording an action, you will have all the plugin settings recorded, including using high resolution retouching. In this case, I'm not using it, as well as the settings for the depth of retouching. This is a portrait of a man so I won't increase blend value too much. I click Apply. The plugin has worked and I can stop recording. Please note that I didn't record saving and closing the file. I only recorded the sequential work of two plugins. All the plugin settings that I used were also recorded. This file is not needed. I can close it without saving. Let's go now to Adobe Bridge. Please pay attention to the following. If I start batch processing, the raw files will be developed using the standard algorithm with Adobe Color Profile, and the color will be different from what you see on the camera screen. Also, the exposure changes from shot to shot, so it would be nice to adjust it. The most convenient way to do this is to use Lightroom. Here is the series in Lightroom. I've already adjusted exposure, increased sharpness, to get the color I need, I used Camera Standard Profile. How do I import these settings to Adobe Bridge? I'm selecting all the files and choosing Metadata, Save Metadata to Files. I click Continue. I'm opening Bridge and it automatically reads them. It doesn't even need to be restarted. If you open the folder with the originals, there will be XMP files with my development settings. So now I'm ready to start batch retouching. I'm selecting all the photos, going to Menu, Tools, Photoshop, and selecting Image Processor. In the opened window, you can select the location to save the files. I will save them in the same folder as the originals. I will choose JPEG format. I will even reduce the quality. If you're going to continue to process photos, PSD format is the best choice. At the bottom of the window, you can choose an action. My action is already loaded here since it was the last one I used. I click Run and the action starts working. It's time to sit back and relax. The photos have been processed. I've loaded the resulting files to Photoshop. I will compare retouched photos to the exported variants from Lightroom so it will be more honest. Here's what I've got after development in Lightroom. And here's the photo after retouching. Note that difference. Next photo. Here is before. Here is after. Before. After. Before. After. Before. And after. I can do this endlessly. Next one. Here is retouched version. Next shot. Before. After. And the following photo, before, after, before, after, what a huge difference. Here, by the way, the shirt was also smoothed out. Nice bonus from Retouch For Me Dodge and Burn. Pay 
pay attention to the shirt in this photo. Retouch for me Dodge and Burn plugin also improved it. It turned out so cool as if it was ironed out. But in this case, it happened at production stage after the shooting. And here is the last frame. Before, after. Fully, automatic. Buy, plugins. Heal, and dodge and burn. Raw files, and JPEGs. Basically, you can apply this matching method to any format that Bridge supports. The action is not tied to anything. It just launches two plugins in sequence and you process everything fully automatically. And you get this here. In my opinion, the result is totally gorgeous. I'm waiting for skeptics in the comments. Real photographers can save a lot of their time. Go to retouch4.me and by retouching plugins, retouch for me heal and retouch for me dodge and burn. That's all for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.